Yes, you. Welcome to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast, a podcast for people who want to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. I'm your host, Jen Glantz, and every week I'll drop a new episode with stories from real people just like you who woke up one morning and decided to make big changes, starting with small things. We'll cover topics like entrepreneurship, love, failure, and self-care. Hey, you're not getting any younger, so let's make this an adventure. Ready? This week's episode is brought to you by my new book, Finally the Bride. It's a nonfiction humor short story book about what it's like to get married and engaged after you yourself have been a professional bridesmaid in hundreds of weddings. Every single chapter explores an oddity and a truth behind the engagement, marriage, dating, and love process. From how a psychic told me I would never find love to how a divorce lawyer told me all about prenups. You can get your hand on the book. A new chapter drops every single month. Check out the book www.finallythebride.com slash shop. That's www.finallythebride.com slash shop. You'll find access to the book right there. Can't wait for you to read this, love this, and laugh so hard. Hey, hey, any youngers, it's me, your host, Jen Glantz, back with another episode of the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. I'm feeling so awesome being here with you for another new episode. I wish you could see me in person right now because I am sitting recording this episode with my only audience member, Goofy, my dog Goofy, who is sleeping next to me on her back. So it makes it really challenging to record this episode when your number one audience member is fast asleep. It is in like the deepest sleep ever. It's so ironic, it's so funny, and this is the time when I wish I had a video show over a podcast just so you could see the humor in me on this microphone, flailing my arms, speaking with passion, and my sidekick, my audience member, on her back, fast asleep, making noises and pedaling with her arms. Oh my goodness gracious, but I am so excited to be back here with you today for another episode where I want to talk about a topic that I feel is just really interesting to think about. And this is a topic that hit me the other day when I tried to take myself on a run. Now, if you've been listening to this podcast for quite some time, you will have known that my running journey has been this epically weird adventure that didn't end so pretty. I started off not being able to run a mile, and then I ended up running 10 miles and loving it, and then getting injured and not being able to run a mile. So everything in life comes full circle, which is why this week's topic, I like to call it losing the winning lottery ticket. Have you ever felt like you just worked so hard, but then you lost it all? Like, did you ever find yourself metaphorically kissing what feels like a winning lottery ticket in your life only to watch it fumble out of your hands? Think about it. Did you ever get that thing you wanted so badly, that thing you worked so hard for? Maybe it was a jumbo job promotion or an acceptance letter to your dream school or a raise at your full-time job, or you finally met that person you thought was the person you'd spend forever with only to watch it all slip away, only to get fired or laid off or pushed out, only to find out that that person who you thought you loved wasn't who you thought they were. Have you ever lost it all? Have you ever lost that winning lottery ticket? And I'm thinking about this the other day when I'm taking myself out for a run after many months of not running and I make it a mile And I have to pull over on the sidewalk and bend over in pain because my knee is acting up and I just can't continue on. And it hits me that this time last year, this very month last year, I was running 10 miles. I was on track to run my first half marathon. I was loving it. Running had become something I did not like, never thought I would grow into. It became something I completely adored. It became my therapy. It became just everything to me. I had gone from not being able to run a mile to running 10, and I felt like this hero of my own life. But here I was, trying to start again, 
And even before my knee acted up on this mile, I was in pain in other ways. Like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do it. I just felt so out of shape. And it hit me that it felt like losing it all and making the decision to start again, to try again, to button yourself up and stand up tall and try to go back to the beginning. And there I was trying again, stretching out this injured knee that made my running adventure end last year. And I just kept thinking, I'm starting this adventure again, a lot slower with a lot more pain. And it felt familiar. It felt like all the other times in my life, I went from dancing on stage during the highlight moment of my life, only to be locked out of my own party just a few days later. Here's what I mean by that. A year after getting a major book deal with a well-known publisher, I couldn't even get a meeting with any of them. My third book, this book I'm writing right now, Finally the Bride, was rejected by over a dozen publishers, including three publishers who had this all-out bidding war over my second book. Can you believe that? Your second book is in a bidding war between three major publishers who are just vying for you to work with them. And then you write a third book years later and nobody will even give you the time of day. Nobody will accept a meeting. Nobody will read the manuscript. Nobody wants anything to do with you and your third book when the second book was something that they would have paid you so much money to get. It hit me again that I felt this kind of pain once in my life where I found out a person I loved dearly wasn't who I thought they were after knowing them my whole life. So much of who I thought they were turned out to be a lie. It hit me that I felt this pain years ago after getting a giant raise at this company I worked for. I found myself one day sitting in a conference room with my boss as he delivered the news that I was getting laid off. That big raise they had just given me didn't even kick in before I was getting kicked out the door. Losing everything, losing what you've worked so hard for, what you thought was your future, what you thought was your plan is a different kind of pain than rejection. Rejection is what you feel when you try and you just don't get that thing, right? Like you you sent the email, you put some feelers out, you asked that person on the date, you applied for the job and you just didn't get it, right? You just got rejected. But loss It's when you've had something, you freaking had it in your hands, you were smooching it hello, and now it's gone. It's completely gone. It's like you had that winning lottery ticket and it blew away in the wind and you cannot find it. That day I tried to go for a run, I quit stretching and I made a goal for myself to just get to the other end of the sidewalk before calling it quits for the day. That to me was progress, that to me was rebuilding, that to me was what I could do in this moment to keep on going. That's some advanced human stuff, I thought to myself as I was huffing and puffing down the pavement. To lose that thing, that lottery ticket, and have the courage to start from scratch. To try again, to try one more time, to apply for more jobs, to love again, to ask again, to just swallow your ego and be willing to wake up in the morning and start back where you started many years ago. Let's be real. Be honest with me. Be honest with yourself. We are all chasing after some kind of lottery ticket we once had, we once loved, we once hugged that is no longer with us anymore. What is it? What are you chasing after? What are you trying to start again on? Because love that progress dearly. Love that thing dearly when it's in your hands and find the courage to chase it again if you still want it once it slips away. All my love, Jen Glantz. And by the way, when you're listening to the show, show us some love. If you could write us a review on Apple Podcasts, that would mean so much to me. Take two seconds, head to Apple Podcasts, right where you're listening to this podcast, if you're listening to it on Apple, and leave us a review. Give us four stars, five stars, whatever you want, hopefully five stars, and write a quick review. Also, hit the subscribe button. That allows you to get notifications when a new episode goes live. Episodes drop at midnight every single Friday every single week thank you so much for listening to the show one more thing come hang out with us in the secret you're not getting any younger facebook group there are so many incredible people there who are willing and waiting to say hello to you 
head to Facebook, search in the search tab. You're not getting in a younger group. You'll find us there. We cannot wait to meet you. And I personally would love to hear from you. So send me an email, jenglance at gmail.com. Come hang out on my website, jenglance.com, or hit me up on social media. Always here for you at jenglance or at any younger. Until next time, all my love, Jen Glance. Hey you, thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen too. Oh, and join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glance. Hey you, thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen too. Oh, and join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glance.